In our last video, we talked about removing dumb devices, replacing them with smart devices, then adding adapters so that we could talk to these smart devices via M control. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few scenarios, real world scenarios that our customers are seeing, and showing you how you can add these devices into your own home. Okay, so let's, we've got a, a PC with M control installed in it and we're going to add a wall switch. We've taken out our dumb wall switch and we've added an Instian. Now this is a, a protocol, there's different kinds, but we're just going to talk about an Instian smart switch. We'll have to get an Instian adapter. Uh, there's various kinds. You can check the ones that are available in our feature summary document on our website. And this connects via USB to our PC and from our desktop uh, monitor we can control this device now and we can check its current status. That's a very uh, very very simple example and often used example by our customers. Let's take a look at another example. We're going to talk a uh, look at the case of a Z-Wave thermostat. Now this again this is a, another technology uh, different than Instian. Uh, it's a wireless technology and this time this thermostat is uh, going to talk wirelessly to another USB device that we've plugged into the back of our PC. But in, instead of controlling it from our desktop monitor via mouse and keyboard, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, M Control iPad app. Now what's going to happen here is when we press a button here, that is going to go over vi Wi-Fi to our router back to our PC which is running M control. M control is going to get this message and then what it's going to do it's going to relay that message out via the USB stick adapter wirelessly over the Z-Wave protocol to this thermostat. Now let's say the temperature changes or uh, someone changes the set point this is going to be wirelessly transmitted using Z-Wave to the adapter which is going to be picked up by M control which is going to show in this user interface but then it's also going to be wirelessly transmitted over your Wi-Fi network to your iPad. Another very probable uh, a, a digital home interface that we might use. Let's consider another. Let's consider your uh, an IP camera. Very simple to hook up. In this case we don't need to hook it up through a USB port because this is really an IP device. It, that means it's going to hook into your uh, existing uh, Ethernet network, Wi-Fi network, or your uh, Ethernet uh, wired network. And in this case I'm showing that it's hooked up wired uh, to your uh, router, but this doesn't necessarily have to be the case. It could be a wireless IP camera and it could be transmitting wirelessly to your router and that information then is uh, transferred to your PC, to your desktop, and then, of course, also available on your iPad. So now, let's say if we wanted to view it here or view it here, the path that would be the, for watching that video is from your camera, the stream would come into your router, be routed to your PC, M Control would get it, and then it would also have a stream rerouting available to uh, the iPad. Okay, so let's consider another scenario, a more complex scenario. In this case, we're going to consider a security system. This is a DSC security system. DSC is very, very popular worldwide. And the adapter that we're going to use is an IT100. You have to buy this separately, uh, but it is it's a serial adapter. But since this uh, uh, your DSC system is not usually close to your PC, it's not uh, something that conveniently can be connected directly via serial. And most PCs don't have serial modules. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this serial module to another device. Uh, this is a global cache uh, IP to serial to IP converter. And this what it does is allows you to transfer serial commands over an IP network. Okay, so I know there's a lot involved here, but what we'll do is we'll go through it slowly. So, and then this GC uh, device, global cache device, is connected to our local area network through our router and then connected uh, to our PC. 
And in this case, you know, you're not going to be at home. Uh, what you want to do is connect it over your, uh, via your cell phone. So let's uh, consider the path that you want to check to see if your security system is armed. What is the path that we take? So when you start up your cell phone, you see this user interface, and you will go to the uh, device that's associated with the serial or sort of the security system. That will be transmitted over the World Wide Web. Uh, over and eventually comes to your router. Now there are some configuration things that you have to do in your router to allow this to happen. It's not an automatic thing but we'll talk about it in a future video. But let's just consider that we get the signal to your router. Now the router is going to forward that message coming in from the cell phone or your mobile phone or whatever mobile device you have outside of your house to your M control PC. Your M control PC is going to say what is the status of the security system and it's go it, it has some knowledge of this already and then it's going to fire back that information over the um, uh, network through your router back to the cell phone okay so let's say that I now I want to control this I want to actually uh, arm my security system my left home I forgot to arm my security system let's watch the path of arming the security system Okay, so I press the button, I turn, uh, put in my security code, I enter that, now that message is transferred over the uh, World Wide Web to the router, forward to the PC, the PC then says, okay, I need to arm that uh, secure, uh, security system, so that message is sent back over the uh, uh, IP network in your house to the global cache device, which converts it into a serial signal, which sends it into the IT100, which sends that ARM message to your DSC security system. It arms and it says, I'm armed now. It sends a message back all the way back here, eventually back to your PC. M Control registers it as armed, and then what M Control does is sends that message back to the device that asked for that message. So there are, uh, that's how you would control a security system over the internet. So those are a few scenarios uh, of how you might control devices. But I think the concept that we want to uh, uh, hammer down here is there are adapters, there are connections, and some, in the case of IPs, they're not adapters. I guess your router is your adapter in this case, but there are, the, there are always some sort of connections to your controllable devices and then there are different paths to those devices so we when you're considering the devices that you're going to include in your digital home you want to consider those paths and uh, we're going to talk uh, now now that we have sort of the base concepts on how these things work together we're going to even go more deep into actual connecting up an instant device so uh, in our next video we'll talk about actually hooking up and controlling the Instian switch through the Instian adapter. Okay, look forward to talking with you again and see you next time.